those of you who were on Instagram for giving me some tips on how to glue my boot back together that fell apart this weekend. Um, it has worked. So far I got some Gorilla Glue and Shoe Goo. And so far so good. Also, these are insulated hunting boots. They have 800 grams of thin slit insulation. If you have a recommendation for insulated boots that you like, let me know. They don't make these anymore. These were like the Bass Pro brand boot. Many years ago, these were like a hand-me-down pair that I was really thankful to have last winter. But they were already kind of old and had sat out in the heat, so it's not really surprising. They only made it one season. But if you have a recommendation, I would love to hear it because I am gonna buy a new pair for the rest of the season because I'm gonna need these probably through March. Good morning. Mom actually has to go to work today. Yeah, she, she had to go yesterday. She has to go today too. And tomorrow. And Friday. No, it's home for five days. You guys <laughs> did not know what to do with yourself. Let's have some breakfast. The farrier is coming back to trim the boys and hopefully to re-ultrasound Daisy, Cece, and Twizzy, who are three that like looked bred but we weren't sure how many. We may be too far along really to see how many, they may be too big, but we're gonna give it a shot to just confirm that they are bred or not. So if you are interested in whether or not the giraffe is actually pregnant. I'm hoping they're gonna get here because they're coming Thursday. The weather is supposed to be crazy the next two days, of course. Good morning, Bubba's. Good morning. So today, it's like 45 degrees out, close to 50 this morning. It's very comfortable, I'm a little hot in my coveralls. And it's supposed to steadily drop all day long in rain. So there's a possibility that it's gonna sleet and snow late this afternoon and it's gonna get super cold. So like the low tonight I think is like 11 and the, low, the high tomorrow is 25, the low of nine. And they don't live in our area, they travel. So my guess is it will depend on what the weather is like where they are. So it's my hope that they will be here tomorrow and that we will get um, some confirmation on who's pregnant and who's not. It'll be good to have some confirmation on all of that. They all definitely, Twiz and, and CC are definitely pregnant. Uh, I just would love to get an idea possibly of how many for them. It's just nice to know what to expect. If you guys have been watching Danelle over at Weed and Reap, you can, you know, it's variable. You may see three or four sacks and only have two babies. But, all good things to know. Okay, my furry children. Let's make good decisions today. Let's be kind to each other, okay? Bryce pregnant, a little hormonal, we're a little cranky. Let's be sweet, okay? Mama, see you in the morning. See you this afternoon, not in the morning. That will be too long. Okay. So, slight change of plans. It's Thursday. 
The Farrier ultrasound team is not coming today because of the weather, which is a very interesting story. <laughs> so last night we got some sleet and snow, uh, obviously not here. In the area, we got a, like a little tiny bit, like you can see like the deck still has some that's frozen. Hi guys. It's about 20 degrees outside right now, feels like 10, so it's very cold. So I'm out filling up water. It's obviously the middle of the day on a Thursday. What is very, very strange about our area is we live on this mountain over here, kind of in the foothills of the Ozarks, what are called the Boston Mountains, technically. They're out of water, so we'll fill them up. Hi, you guys were all out having fun. You were, you don't care about the cold. They don't care about the cold. And I work in a district south of where we live and they canceled school today. Basically they put us on alternate methods of instruction. So we went virtual, which is great. So I'm working today, it's my lunch, it's about noon. And I'm gonna fill up water for everyone, check on everybody really quick. I did fill up their hay, so just wanna make sure. And they've been out. So um, let me get water filled up and we'll chat. I you know, are you thirsty? Are you guys thirsty? have been in their house pretty much all morning. They're out now to kind of sunbathe. It's cold out here. My face is a little chilly. I have on a sweatsuit and some long underwear, but um, coveralls are keeping me pretty warm. You guys, everybody needs water. Hot water kind of encourages them. It encourages them to drink a little bit if it's warm. And so I'll go fill up two more gallons and bring out Hi Bino. Doing great. They really do fine in the cold as long as you let them get cold and puff out. And so you can see how long Waffles here is. Bean's not as fluffy just because Bean's not as fluffy of a goat, but he's definitely fluffier than like summer. This is problematic. This is because Waffles has horns. So the head budding has skinned both boys without horns head. It's a problem, Mr. Waffles. We may have to separate you to live with the piggles. You may have to live with the pickles with your horns. They've had a lot of bloody heads lately, and it is because Waffles has those horns. Um, it just, it's not the same as them beating their bare heads together. But, so you can see, absolutely fine here. We'll go check on the girls. Where we live is kind of in the middle of the Northwest Arkansas area and on the west side. So we are maybe 20 minutes from Oklahoma, maybe 30 minutes from Missouri kind of where we are in Northwest Arkansas. And the school district that it, I work for is a little bit further south and it's a little bit more mountainous, I guess, than like we're kind of at the top on this plateau where we are, obviously down in this valley right here, but, uh, and then where they are, it's just more, it's just hillier. So they just, there's lots of elevation change. And for some reason last night, just this band of snow developed right on top of that city and the outlying county area. And so all my friends that live down there, their yard is covered, the streets are covered in snow and it is very cold here, but obviously no snow, no ice roads are completely fine. Roads have been completely fine. So we were having a snow day because the roads were bad 
but roads here are never bad. This is very strange and funny. But where the farrier is from, I think is kind of north central Arkansas. And so they're in a higher elevation. They did not feel safe traveling. So they've rescheduled for Saturday. So that video will be Tuesday. So no worries. So yeah, not the probably most exciting video, but we're just managing cold today. I've got meetings. So I've been in meetings all morning. I have one more meeting left this afternoon. And so I'm just out here filling up water for everybody. They drink a lot of water to stay warm. Like hyd hydration really helps them just like humans, how we use hydration to manage our body temperature, they do as well. As you can see, it feels like 10 degrees outside right now. They don't even look bothered. They've been out eating and grazing. Haven't you sweet Nani beer? Say yes, mama. I'm just living their best life. Are you living your best life in the cold? We don't care about the cold. We don't care about the cold, mama. Uh, we brought the generator over last night. That was the last thing from over there. We're still managing water until in the morning and then it's not my problem, which is a glorious feeling. So they'll probably drink most of this by the time I go in. So we may need to do two fill-ups. I may just go, it's really, I don't like to use the cold water. So I may just go back in and fill up hot water for pigs and everybody else. Yeah, hello. You're so sweet. Uh, so I refilled hay feeders this morning and they've really been out. You can see they haven't eaten a ton of hay. They had, you know, their normal breakfast and then they went out once the sun got up pretty good. Yes, they did. So they're doing well. We'll go see the pigs. I did order some new boots. Uh, I have glued the sole back on this one for now. My new ones will be in Tuesday. Supply chain issues. I was not able to find the boots that I wanted. I wanted to order, I think the brand was like Dannon. What I looked for was like some hunting boots, insulated hunting boots, because that's what I have. And like I said before, these were gifted to me and they were used, <laughs> gently used. They're, these are like the basic Bass Pro brand called Red, I think it's called Redhead. Yeah, Redhead that Bass Pro no longer carries. That was just their in-house brand. Hello. Oh goodness. Hello. Is it cold? Is it cold? Days go, Mom. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you so excited? You don't need anything to eat. You just had breakfast. You did. How's the piggy house holding up? Let's go see it. Don't be mean to each other. So I think the brand that I ordered was Rock. I also looked at like some Wolverine and I could not find the Dannon brand. You could not find the insulated ones. Same thing with Wolverine. Could not find the insulated ones. Hi, I'm being chased by this pig. Why? Why am I being chased? Yes. You're okay. Stop being a stink. Stop. She was really crazy like this when it got cold last year. Their house looks fine. He, of course, is from a very chill cell. Just stink right there. That must be their pooping ground. But yeah, that's and toasty. They've pooped in the corner. It was too cold to get out. I don't know what this is about. I don't know why she's wound up either. Y'all are silly. Yes, ma'am. Do you just need some snuggles? Hmm? I do, Mom. I need some attention. I'm a needy pig. <laughs> okay. Needy piggle. Yeah, do you love pork chop? I think she must be coming in the heat. Must be the problem. She gets like this. Yes. Hi. It's mom. Because there's a lot of this going on. 
So it must be getting... That will be about right. It's been about three weeks. I'm beginning to think the problem is her. Don't worry, they're pets. This must, we just must be getting close to being in heat. Because she's irritating him too. Poor chop, will she not leave you alone? Why did not I leave you alone? Mom, she's super annoying. Yeah. Tell him, Toon. How I kind of know they're warm enough. Uh, number one, they're out here walking around. Uh, they have all this straw out here and they haven't picked it back up to put it back in the house. And they're sleeping right here. Like that's where they're sleeping. They're not sleeping kind of tucked out of the wind. So it must stay pretty warm. The buddies are fine. I ordered a brand called Rock. They have, I think they were 800 grams of insulation. It's the plan, and those should come Tuesday. So maybe in Thursday's video of next week, I'll show them to you, see how they fit. Um, Bass Pro has a new, like they've rebranded their women's line and all the reviews for the same, basically the same boots said that um, they were not the eyelets all busted like the minute that you use them so I chose not to buy those and I paid I think about $120 for the ones that I ordered which was the similar price but they had much better reviews and the Wolverine ones so I looked at Wolverine and Irish Setter, could not find insulated ones for Wolverine. The Irish Setter insulated boots, everybody said they were not waterproof. That they said they were waterproof, but their feet got wet. Not an option. So I also ordered some Duluth flannel line jeans today. So we'll talk about those two whenever they get in. If you're interested in warm gear, I've got to get them some water. It's supposed to warm back up tomorrow and the sale is on for the property in the morning. I'm so excited guys. We're gonna go sign at eight. We're gonna have breakfast together before we go back to work and just, we're just really excited. I'm really excited. Overall, I know that's what I talked about in Tuesday's video. Uh, you can see she's very thirsty. So I'm gonna go get her some more water, get them some water. Everybody's got, hey, I'll get you some more water tunes, okay? Yeah, so this is what 10 degrees looks like. It's gonna be nine tonight, so very cold. The coldest night we're probably gonna have. We may get one more really cold night in February, but for now, this should be the coldest that it gets. It's nine degrees tonight. It was about 14 last night, 13, 14. So everybody's doing great. They manage cold way better than humans do. Just all about having the right clothes and they are equipped. Toonie's not even really that hairy. She's not as hairy as pork chop, but they do definitely have their winter coats on, just like these guys do. So we'll get them some water and then I'm gonna get into my meeting. Water in your bowl. 